So this is my Harbor Freight bead roller that I've motorized. I added bracing to the side and then a plate that bolts in top and bottom so that it won't stretch. I used the Harbor Freight pipe threader. I took the forward and reversing switch out of the pipe threader and just mounted it into an electric box. Then I cut the top out so I can switch it, go forward or reverse. This handle here will take the uh, fence and then the handle up top is to adjust the tension on the rollers and I've got a spring there. A lot of the modifications that I did were based on the one that Jer Kirkpatrick did for Gene Winfield. I did a little different thing with the motor. He used the drill motor and the uh, Harbor Freight pipe threader is doing a great job. I also cut the slot in the top so that that top shaft will slide forward and backward. There's about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of movement in there. And then for powering it, I've got it hooked up to a foot pedal down below. Switch the direction. And I did find out earlier tonight that with this Harbor Freight pipe threader, you do not want to switch the directions and touch the foot pedal until it has completely come to a stop. It gives a puff of blue smoke, so hopefully the one time I did that, I didn't do too much damage to it. So now I'm at the point where it has to come apart and I'll go ahead and paint things up. I just painted the lid a machine gray color. I'm gonna paint the rest of the machine and the base that color as well. And then I have some samples. So this piece Just did an edge on. This piece I could have put a couple of beads into. So the wide one is the half inch and the narrow one is the quarter inch. And then here I did two steps at an eighth of an inch. And then this piece, just a couple more beads in. And that curved one, I was just playing around with whether or not I could, I could do the curve, and that's gonna take a little bit of practice. It's moving a little too fast right now to get the curve in, but I think I'll be able to, uh, to make it work. Didn't get much of a curve in there, or much of a bead, I guess. But I also was too lazy to set up my big camera. There we go, that's better. It's kind of hard to do with one hand on the camera and one hand 
holding the metal. But I was, like I said, I was too lazy to set up the big camera on the tripod. I'll get another video up, a little better one with, uh, with it once it's all painted. And I'll go ahead and give it a little bit more of a demonstration. But I'm very happy with the way it turned out.